Yellow. Welcome back to Cooking with E. It's been a while, but hey, we got a good one today. Check this out. We are gonna be making some bacon wrapped stuffed jalapeno poppers with cream cheese and a brat that we had last night. Don't you go nowhere. You ain't gonna wanna miss it. <laughs> What is a jalapeno bropper? Well, that's where you take some leftover brats, rip the skin off them, take the insides out. We're gonna cut up these here jalapenos in halves. We're gonna throw a little bit of this bacon, put some on the grill, get it a little bit going, and then we're gonna wrap them up. But before we do that, we're gonna drop a little cream cheese inside that there jalapeno. Put this in there, wrap it with this, and we're gonna try it and see what it is. So I've got these all cut in half. As you saw, I took the spoon, got rid of the stuff on the insides. I'm gonna take and match these up. Kind of keep them close to each other so you can match them up. So when I fill them with, with cream cheese and the brat stuff and that, I can pop the top on there and then wrap them up again. Uh, you could core them out and try and stuff it in there. I've done that as well, but I just find this to be a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these off and let's uh, start putting stuff in there. Now I'm gonna take these brats that we cooked last night and uh, go ahead and pull the outer skin off them so it's just the meat that's in the middle here. As you can see here, I made it like a ground beef consistency. And if you're looking in there and going, boy, there's some pink in there. Yeah, well, I put them on a the smoker, so that's actually a smoke ring. So it's, uh, it's actually just more flavor if you look at that. See the smoke ring on the outside? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these things all prepped up. We got the poppers ready to go. I'm gonna fill them with some cream cheese. Then we're gonna start layering in some of this here brat. And then we'll uh, head out to the smoker. Stay tuned. All right, so I like to take my cream cheese, pull it out of the pack, and uh, I heat it up for a second. And then I take my spoon and just kinda Mix it around so it gets out of its shape, so it's easier to spread. So I'm gonna smash this down for a second here, pop it in the microwave, and then we'll uh, start stuffing these things. All right, it was in there about 15 seconds, and it just makes it a whole lot easier to work with here. I just kind of smash it around, play with this until it gets a little thinner. You could also cut it with uh, a little bit of ranch. Or you could use a uh, Dijon mustard or something like that if you wanted, but if you put a little, just a little bit of ranch in there like that, it'll actually start to break down and it'll start to mix around and become more of a paste, which is what we're looking for instead of just hard globby. Nobody wants to eat a big old chunk of sour cream, at least I don't like it. I like a little bit of flavor. A little taste of that there jalapeno, some of our brat. So I'm gonna finish mixing this up. I'll show you what it is before. I go ahead and put it in. See how it kind of smooths out a little bit? You get more of that. I can just take a little bit at a time now instead of a big old chunk and uh, pop it on these uh, jalapenos. Let's rock it. So I'm not putting a ton in here, I'm just leaving a little bit of room. If you look at the edge, it kind of still got a bowl shape to it. Leave a little bit of room for your brat. All right, let's go hit that grill, get it fired up, grab our bacon, drop it on there, 
Let's go to step number, what is it, 17, 14? Uh, 30 seconds, 40 fifths. That's where we're going right now. As you can see, we got the grill fired up on smoke. I'm gonna pop this thing to about uh, 350 and get this thing heated up. And then we will go ahead and grab our bacon, set it down there. I gotta cut it in half or a couple pieces in half because I have 20 of those and 13 of them. So, yep, we don't have enough. So I'm gonna have to cut some in half and we'll wrap them. I decided not to fold them back into shells again just because I don't have enough toothpick. So <laughs> this is how we're doing it. All right, the grill's up to temp. Let me go ahead and chuck the bacon on here. I have to cut it in half. As I said, I didn't have enough to do all of them. I don't want to cook it all the way through. I just want to cook it a little bit on one side so you can still wrap it. Cook it and it's too hard, it won't wrap around the jalapeno. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these on. All right, so as you can see, it, it started to uh, de hogify, meaning it's got a little bit of resistance to it. Yes, I made up that word, but see, I just started to get some grill mark on it, and it's not quite stiff yet, but it's, it's definitely easier to work with than floppy, floppy, uncooked bacon. So, we're gonna go with that wrap it around what the the point of that is and i've done it before but the point of that is you already started the cooking process on this side so when i wrap it around there it cooks on there you're not going to have that chewy piece of bacon around your jalapeno because nobody likes that make it crispy all right so i got them all on got them wrapped in bacon all i did is put the bacon in the middle wrap one end under one end under and then set it on the grill so that's what we got now this one here, my bacon was too short, so I just said screw it and laid it on there like a blanket. So, <laughs> that's what he's getting. <laughs> Probably one of the best tips I have for you guys is uh, make sure you make some side bacon. Because all that cooking makes you hungry, man. Mmm. Mmm. May I always make extra bacon. It's been about 10 minutes or so. 15. Oh, look at that. Oh, can you smell that? Oh, man. All right, let's get these off here. I gotta try one, my mouth water. Got them off there. Boy, I gotta say, these things are looking real, real good. I think it's time we go in and give one of them there a taste. But you gotta be careful, otherwise it's, uh, it's like biting into liquid hot magma. Oh, I can't wait to put this in my mouth. Ooh, look. Look here. Oh, my. Mmm. Mmm. Bacon is crispy. Try that method. I promise you, you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Another episode of Cooking with Ease. Been a while. We'll have some more for you. See you next one.